So today we're going to run through how to wash and dry a comforter, a queen-sized comforter. That's a pretty full load. That is a really, really full load. And as we look at it, uh, we're about uh, more than three quarters of the way up, but my maximum dry line is right here. So I'm just over the top. That's going to be a limitation. Power up the machine. It is a bulky, large load. It is what would qualify as bedding. So I'm going to choose the bedding cycle. That means I will not be able to do a dry cycle automatically. I'll have to wash the bedding cycle and then I will have to choose my dry cycle after it's completed. I'm going to do a steam cycle because it's been a while since I've washed this and I wanna get all of that cat hair out and I wanna get all of those allergens out. I'm also going to choose the spin. Uh, when you're on bedding, you only have medium, low, and no spin options. Of course, the low spin and the no spin are going to leave more moisture in our comforter, making it harder or longer for the dry cycle to succeed. Okay, we just need to put some soap in and we will start it. Uh, steam cycle is gonna be about two hours and seven minutes and that's normal. We're gonna let that happen and then we'll come back and we will dry it. All right, we finished our two hour and seven minute wash cycle with steam and I could have done it without the steam and it would have just been the bedding cycle and that runs about an hour. The normal bedding cycle is a flat one hour and that's a combination of less agitated washes that account for the big, heavy and bulky load, but it knows that it needs to do it a longer time so that it can clean the larger bulky item, and that's what we're left with. And as we look inside the machine here, we'll notice that it is pretty much full. The thing has compressed a little bit, and you know, we do actually look like we have a little bit more space. If I pack that down, it's actually lower than the dry line. So maybe it does fit. It's not clear in the machine's manual what that dry line, in fact, I don't even remember seeing anything draw attention to that dry line in the manual. Is that the limit for wet fabric or is that the limit for dry fabric? I am assuming that this is the maximum fill line for a wash cycle with dry clothes that you will then dry. I could be wrong. I could be mistaken that this is actually the limit for what you can put wet clothes in there and still have it effectively dry. So here we go, we're good. I'm gonna close that back up. Boop, 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 boop. So we'll start this and it'll do 30 minutes of spin and then we will stop and see what it thinks is the real dry time. I'll come back to this in a bit. Okay, I don't know at what point that it switched over because I wasn't in the room, I was in the other room not paying attention, but it says we're now down to an hour. I'll have to go back and look and review the tape and see what uh, the video footage says. I had another camera on the timer and we'll see at what point it switched from eight and a half hours to somewhere near an hour. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens at the end of the cycle and see if it uh, actually comes out dry. All right, we've done the one hour-ish cycle of dry cycle, and we're gonna see how this comforter fared with uh, you know, a good spin out and an hour-ish of dry. And surprisingly, it feels dry. It feels a little heavy, like there might be some humidity trapped inside deep in the padding, but no, no. Oh my God. It actually worked this time. 
Well, that was surprising because I've said in previous comments on other videos that the queen size comforter is a little bit more than the limit of this machine, but it just succeeded. So, uh, all right. It might, you know, it, sometimes it's hard to feel if there's humidity or dampness. I feel a little bit of it inside here, but if need be, I'll, I'll leave it like I do with my sheets. I'll leave it out here, air out. I'll let the machine air out. And if it doesn't feel dry enough, I will uh, run another 30 minute dry cycle with no spin and see if that can't, you know, suck more of that moisture out. So There's some, some spots here that feel a little damp. It's just, it's, it's, it's spotty because, you know, it's, it's not, it's not damp here, but it's damp here. And that's because there's just not enough room for the, the comforter to tumble the way regular clothes do because it's just such a big bulky thing. So yeah, there's some sections here that could use um, another 30 minutes in there. We're gonna call it quits for that. And that hope that answers your question about does it work for a queen size comforter? Mm -hmm.